Hi traders, this is Forex James and in this video we'll be talking about a particular price action which is the wig of a candlestick chart. As you already know, I'm a discretionary price action trader. So basically what I do is I look at prices, I read them, and I try to interpret the meaning of prices. Why price moves in such a way in a certain area basically what I try to do is just gauge the market and see which side is winning is it the bulls or is it the bears if it's the bulls then we want to be on the winning side we want to go along if it's the bears we're gonna to try to look for shorts it's as simple as that as retail traders we don't move the markets so the best thing we can do is just to follow the footprints of the big boys okay so why this candles wick in particular because the wick of a candle tells a story you may have heard different names out there like a kangaroo tail a shooting star a hammer or a shadow but they essentially convey the same story and the story that price is trying to tell us is basically is that there's exhaustion here there's rejection and there's new pressure coming in for the bullish long way candle. And for the bearish, it's selling pressure that just came in. As a price action trader, knowing how to read a single candle is only a small piece of the puzzle. I would still have to use this candle with the right context of where the market is. All right, so again, the candlestick can give us an extra clue of where price is headed to, but it has to be at specific areas of the chart. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys a simple three-step process on how I use this particular price action in my own trading. So first and foremost, it's always the bias direction and turning points, finding PRZ, high probability, uh, turning points and levels. All right. Let's take a look at this move here, up move here. The bulls are winning. And it's obvious that the direction is still going to the upside. So what we do here is basically to look for a pullback and see where price would retrace to. So for a more aggressive trader, you may just simply place a limit order at this level when price was still up here and we would anticipate price to turn around. But if you're doing that, you actually wouldn't know how price approached this level here and where exactly it will turn. Because as this is a, what I call a PRZ, it's a potential reversal zone, a zone meaning that it does not hold price to the tip of this horizontal line. Price may just surpass this point and made a pullback all the way here. And that's still considered a, a valid bounce, a valid zone. Okay, so basically, number one is to get a direction bias, find a level where price will likely turn around. And number two is basically we wait to wait for the battle between the bulls and bears. So we don't want to be the first to jump in. We don't want to be the last to join this up move either. And after seeing a candle like this, this means that there's rejection. This means that the bears are exhausted. This means that there is a new bullish pressure coming in into the market at this point. This is the turning point, the tip of the turning point. Okay, And after this candle forms, it's more obvious that the direction has indeed changed to the upside. And we could just jump in on the new trend here that's about to form. Okay, You can either trade a breakout or you find a, a pullback order depending on your own trading style. All right? See on the H1 here? This is what it formed on the H1. It may have a, a bigger body or a, sm 
or a smaller body, it doesn't matter. We look at where price open, where it pushed price down to, and where it finally closes. This is just as valid as the other candle. It means the same thing, the same story. Let's take a look at another example on this chart. Okay, and as you can see here, price made a move to the upside. It's looking to retest these previous highs here. Okay, so this marks as an important PRZ. But we don't know just yet where price would retrace to. This is, in fact, a very nice demand level. And price may have just pulled back all the way here before going to the upside. Right? And so what happens here is we wait for price to tell us if it, it's going to move to the upside again. And what do we see here? A long way candle, a rejection. Okay, after this candle, price retraces a bit and then it just took off. You'll see these long wicks everywhere on the chart, but it's only at specific turning points that they really matter. Okay. Let's find a few more examples here. Okay, here it is. It's right in our face here. <laughs> so price has turned around, making a new move to the upside. See, these long wicks are giving us clues that whenever the bears are trying to jump in, the bulls will fight back. That's how strong and how willing the bulls are to push price to the upside. Okay, and therefore, this candle can trigger us into a nice long trade. All right? This is a retest of the previous level. When this forms, it's pretty clear to me, especially on the H4, on the bigger time frame, that the bulls are still in control. Let's find another one. Right here. All right. This also coincides with a nice demand level. Really strong move. Basically, the bears tried to push price down. The bulls fought back and won. All right. This could be a. This is a red candle because the close is still below the open, but it doesn't matter if it is a red or a blue candle. The story is still the same which is that the bulls are not giving up yet. They're still there. The buyers are still willing to push price to the upside. So there you go, guys. This is how I would trade the specific candle pattern in my own trading. I hope you find it useful. I hope you can apply it to your own trading. And as usual, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the section below. And if you find it helpful, Give me a thumbs up. And to end this video, I would like to leave you guys with an excerpt of the movie of a documentary called Bulls and Bears. It tells the story of a trader named John Rambo. Right? It's available on YouTube. I've left the link below. If you wanted to watch it yourself, you can go ahead and do it. And once more, thanks again for watching. try to predict where the market's gonna go it's 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 like it's it's like a it's like a comet going going through in the sky you can't see the comet but you can see the tail we can see the price action but we can't actually ever really grasp the market you can't really ever really grasp the market all you can do is try to jump on board the comet and ride it for a while all we can see is the tail that's the price action. It's historical prices people you can analyze charts up the yin yang you're looking at the tail of the comet you got to learn to get aboard the comet and ride the comet. 
that's the idea of, of, of trading. It's the idea of getting on board the market and, and doing what the market tells you to do. It's a very hard thing to do. I would say only two or three times a year I really feel like I'm on board the comet. But when I'm on board the comet, it's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> well, his name's John. He's American. And uh, he's a big trader, a very big trader. Um, so he came into the pit and he was like, with a very strong American accent. Somebody said, it's not your war, John. He goes, it is now. So they called him Rambo.